On Sunday, April 23rd, the former president, 76, claimed some of the donors and political action committees supporting DeSantis are abandoning him due to his poll numbers. Florida has the sun and ocean and was great long before I put Ron there. Trump, Ron. <laughs> Florida has the sun and the ocean and was great long before I put Ron there. Trump wrote in his social media page. The semi-elite no-growthers are considering sending Ron to the Great Walter Reed Medical Center for an emergency personality transplant. His poll numbers are crashing. <laughs> oh, God. What a time to be alive, right? Like, it's like this shit is actually going down. You know what I'm saying? What a time to be alive. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Florida governor, 44, criticized Trump over Dr. Anthony Fauci's role during the COVID-19 pandemic while at a Republican event. Oh, God, that's so weak. And that's what I'm saying. Like everything Ron DeSantis has to do back to Donald Trump is just weak and lame. Don't nobody care about this shit, man. Quote, a leader must have the confidence to stand all alone if need be. He said at the Utah GOP convention on Saturday, April 22nd. And so, and so for us, as I got into office, COVID presented that situation for us because we were in a situation. The third largest state in the country, one of the highest percentage of elderly, economy based on tourism, which we needed to travel to continue. Yes, Ron DeSantis is really that fucking boring, which is why he's getting his ass kicked. So this situation was an ex existential threat to our state. But I made the judgment. Leaders take the bull by the horns and make the decisions for themselves. They don't subcontract out their they don't subcontract out their leadership to health bureaucrats like Dr. Fauci. Okay, Ron. Ron, you're so fucking lame. Jesus Christ, this dude is so whack. I mean, the it, he ain't got it, man. This motherfucker ain't got it. Look at that, and then look at this. Like Donald Trump has no respect for this dude. I mean, he's just ripping this dude apart. And Ron DeSantis is on some beat, beat, boot, bop, robot shit. And Trump coming at him. Trump hitting his record. Trump hitting the fact that he put, what do you say? He said, Florida has the sun in the ocean and was great long before I put Ron there. Trump wrote on his social media page. The semi-elite no-growthers are considering sending Ron to the Great Walter Reed Medical Center for an emergency personality transplant. His poll numbers are crashing. <laughs> oh my God, this dude Ron DeSantis, man. Oh, he's yeah, he's so he's so bad at it, man. Like he's just really, and, and even Republicans are coming out and just and just saying it. You know what I'm saying? Even Republicans are coming out and just saying, like, yo, Ron DeSantis is not good at this politics shit. And they tired of his Disney shit because it's stupid. I mean, the stuff that, oh, Scott, my brother in the building. I mean, because the stuff that Ron DeSantis is doing with Disney is just dumb. You, you doing all, not only are all you doing is virtue signaling, but you're losing. Bob Iger is whooping your ass. And you literally can't beat him. And now you're like, oh, we're going we're gonna to put a prison next to Disney. First and foremost, how many years would that take to complete, to, to, to contract it out and then to build it and then to fill it? That's not going to happen next year. That would be so you would continue that long, petty ass process. It's just dumb, bro. And then you're going to put a prison next to one of the largest tourist attractions in the whole country. And the largest employer in the whole state of Florida. You know, ain't nobody feeling it. Ain't nobody feeling it. 